Welcome to All Line Maths TV. My name is Jake Sanemo, and this is a channel where you learn mathematics every day. And today we have a challenge on the board on a set of simultaneous equations. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop our new videos. Okay, with that being said, let's go into today's challenge. The question says, 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to 9 and 2 all to the power of bracket open x plus y close bracket equal to 8. Then what would be the value of x and y? The two possible values for x and y will be what? Let's take our solution. Solution. Got it. We put down our equation. For the first one, we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to 9. Let's give this equation 1. Okay? Let's label this equation 1. So that I'll be making references to um, this equation. And the second one, we have 2 to the power of bracket open x plus y close bracket equal to 8. Let's give this equation 2. Okay. So, if we have this as our equation 2, look at this. We can rewrite this equation 2 in another format. Okay. According to the law of indices, it says that if you have um, a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Now, this expression we have in here now is same thing as this. So let's open this and see what this gives us. So we're going to have this. Well, this now implies that 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of y equal to 8. We can give this equation 3. Okay, so let's label this equation 3. All right. Yeah, we are having 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of y in equation 1. And equation 2 has been rewritten, and we now have 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of y. So we can bring in another alphabet to represent 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of y. So from here, let's say here, say, let, can I say, let 2 to the power of x be equal to, uh, let's use um, a, and 2 to the power of y, let it be b. Okay, so in other words, whenever we see 2 to the power of x, we put a there, and 2 to the power of y, we put b there. So your equation 1 and equation 3 cannot be rewritten as equation 1, which is 2 to the power of x, implies that a plus b equal to 9. Let's give this equation 4. And our equation 3 with term become A times B equal to your 8. And let's give this equation 5. Okay. Okay. Now, let's look at this. Look at your equation 4 now, which is A plus B equal to 9. Let's work on this equation 4. So from equation from equation 4, now say from equation 4, square both sides. Square both sides of equation 4. So let's proceed from here. Okay. All right. So if we square both sides of equation 4, we're going to have this to be a plus b all squared equal to 9 squared. Okay. Now, record the identity that says that if you have your x plus y all squared, this is equal to your x squared plus 2x y plus 
y squared. So if we anchor on this, on this expression here, then we cannot have this to be our a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equal to 81. Okay. Yeah, we have to work on this again because we try to achieve our a plus b and our a um, uh, a b. So from here, subtract, subtract 4ab from both sides, from both sides, a square plus 2ab minus 4ab, a square plus 2ab plus b square minus 4ab equal to 81 minus 4ab. <clears throat> All right. If we add plus 2ab to minus 4ab, we're going to have this to be a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to 81 minus 4ab. Now, remember the expression that says, or the identity that says that if you have x minus y all squared, this will give us yeah, to be um, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Okay, so this identity is what we have in here now. So we can resolve it to this form. So if we do that, this now implies that a minus b all squared equal to 81 minus our ab from equation 5 is 8. So this will now give us minus 4 into 8. Okay, very easy. Let's erase this. So if we solve this further, this is going to give us here a minus b all to the power of 2 equal to 81 minus 4 times 8 will give us uh, 32. A 32 from 81 will give us 49. So we now have this to be a minus b all to the power of 2 equal to 49. Okay, very easy. At this point, what we do here is to... Um, Take the square root of both sides. So take the square root of both sides. So yeah, take the square root, square root of both sides, of both sides. So if we do that, this is going to give us a minus b all square into our square root equal to square root of 49. And here we introduce the plugs minus okay and of course you know the left hand side dx we go with dx so your a minus b will now be equal to plus minus seven because the square root of 49 is seven okay so we have two cases from uh, the result here now so let's continue from here again we take this very equation now let's solve this answer alongside with our equation um four which is a plus b equal to nine let's solve this equation alongside with this simultaneously so can i call you and say solve solve equation equation four and yeah, let's give this particular equation so that we know what we're doing. So let's give this equation 6. Okay, solve equation 4 and 6 and 6 simultaneously. Simultaneously. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be our A plus B equal to 9, which is equation 4, and we take case 1. Of this which is a minus b equal to positive 7 for case 1 so we can go ahead and add 
these two equations. We do that, this and this will leave the system. Here will now give us 2a equal to, here we have 16. a is equal to uh, 8. We've got to a. For us to get b, put the value of a into uh, the first equation here. So if we substitute, this will now give us uh, a plus b equal to 9. Then we have 8 plus b equal to 9b is equal to 9 minus 8. Therefore, b is equal to 1. Okay, now we've got to a and b for case 1 of this very answer now. So we now go ahead and substitute for um, x and y. So we bring this expression here. We say 2 to the power of x is equal to a and 2 to the power of y equal to b. So we cannot say here, recall, recall that 2 to the power of x is equal to a and um, 2 to the power of y is equal to b. So for the two answers we have from here now, we now give us here 2 to the power of x equal to, what is the value of a? a is 8. So we have 8 here. And 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. And so these two, so long they are the same, they will leave the system and we can equate the exponent. So we have x is equal to a 3. Then we take the second part, which is 2 to the power of y equal to b. Okay? And what is our b? Our b is um, 1. So we have 1 here. All right? And 1 could be written as 2 to the power of 0. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 0. Again, the bases are the same, so we strike out. So we now have here y equal to 0. We've got to the first value for y and x already. So we go from here again. Let's take case 2 of this same expression, which is equation 6. We have here case 2. Case 2, so we have here a plus b is equal to our 9 and a minus b equal to minus 7. Okay, because here we're going to have this to be minus 7. So if we do this, again, we are adding. So if we add this and this, we leave. So we have 2a is equal to 9 plus minus 7, we give us here. Um, 2. Okay, so our a here is equal to 1, where you divide by uh, 2. From here, we can now put 1 into this equation. So this now implies a plus b equal to 9. Our a is 1 plus b equal to 9. b is equal to 9 minus 1. So b is equal to 8. Then we recall again, okay? For us to get x and y for the second part, we recall again, when I say recall, recall that 2 to the power of x equal to um, a and 2 to the power of y equal to b. So if we do that, this will automatically give us, for the first one, we have 2 to the power of x equal to a. What is our a? Our a is 1. So we put down y here. And according to the law of indices, that any number raised to 0 is 1, we're going to have this to be 2 to the power of 0. Okay? So the base can take care of themselves. So we now equate the exponent. So we have x is equal to 0. The second part we have here to be 2 to the power of y equal to b. What is our b? b is 8. And 8 can equally be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. Okay? Again, the base will take care of the cells and our exponent will equate to give us here 3. So in all, what is or are the uh, values of our uh, x and y from here? So from here, we cannot conclude that our x, comma, y is equal to bracket x1, comma, y1. This is comma plex, close bracket, and we have x2, comma, y2, close bracket. 
what is our x1? Our x1 will solve it to be 3. So we'll have this to be bracket 3, comma, and our y to be 0, comma, 0, close bracket, and our x2, our x2, we solve it to be 0, we have here 0, comma, and our y2, 3, x. So these are the uh, possible values for our x and y. Okay, now if you have learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up and share with family, friends, colleagues who need this knowledge in mathematics. Okay, remember, we love you so much. All of us at Online Maths TV, we love you so much. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.